We have one more indicating, you know, or, or on, in the lines of break, breaking out or break, broken views and all that stuff. Uh, we have this part here, and let me open the part so you can just see some of the details in it. When you look at the actual part, you'll see there's a little counterbore hidden in the back here. When you see an edge view, uh, you're, you're not really aware of that counterbore. Maybe you want to show it. Um, I mean, you could do a uh, hidden lines visible. I don't know. Depends on what you want to show. Like some people might say, all right, we're going to add uh, some hidden lines here. So you can see the counterbore. But again, let's say you want to dimension this thing. And uh, if you're following the standards, you can't dimension hidden lines, obviously. So what you have to do is you get to expose this particular view here. Now, exposing this view or this counterbore can be done through what is called broken out section view. Okay. Let's say I had, uh, I'm just going to go back to a, a sketch here so I can uh, uh, see it more clearly. And uh, let's say I want to project a side view here just so we can see the side of it. Okay, So here's the two views that I'll work with. There's the counterbore I want to expose. And this is the broken out area that I want to create. Just like the crop view, you have to specify a perimeter. In this case, I'm going to go back to my sketch tools, use the spline command, and just come in here and just, you know, draw myself a perimeter. And this is the perimeter that will be used almost like a sketch that will cut extrude into your model. I mean, this is really what's happening behind the scenes is that this perimeter will be used almost like a cut extrude. Now, with this perimeter, if I hit that button called broken out section, notice what happens. It's, it says here, well, show me a reference for the depth or, or just me you know, measure it yourself. Just give me a parameter for the depth. You could either enter it numerically or even easier. If I have a side view like this, I can come in and reference where I want it. Like if I reference that circular edge, it's actually going to go right to the center of that circular edge. And if I hit OK, we get a very nice automated broken out section view exposing that detail here with the counterbores so I can actually dimension to it and you know edges and I can touch edges I can touch vertices and so on and so forth it's a really cool option there to allow you to create these types of uh, broken out section views